A resistor is a passive two-terminal electrical component that limits or controls the flow of electric current in a circuit. It is designed to have a specific resistance value, which is measured in ohms. Resistors are commonly used in electronic circuits for various purposes, such as voltage division, current limiting, signal conditioning, and impedance matching. Resistors are typically made of materials that have high resistance, such as carbon composition, metal film, or wire-wound materials. The resistance value of a resistor determines how much it resists the flow of current. A higher resistance value means a greater opposition to the current flow, while a lower resistance value allows more current to pass through. Resistors are identified by their resistance value and power rating. The resistance value is indicated by a color code on the body of the resistor, or it may be printed directly on the component. The power rating specifies the maximum amount of power the resistor can safely dissipate without being damaged due to excessive heat. Resistors come in various shapes and sizes, with the most common being cylindrical or rectangular. They can be through hole components, where their leads are inserted into holes on a circuit board, or surface mount components, which are directly mounted on the surface of the board. Overall, resistors are fundamental components in electronics, providing control and manipulation of electric current in circuits. A capacitor is an electronic component that stores and releases electrical energy. It consists of two conductive plates separated by an insulating material called a dielectric. The plates can be made of metal or a conductive material, while the dielectric can be made of various materials such as ceramic, plastic, or electrolyte. When a voltage is applied across the plates, Electric charges accumulate on the surfaces of the plates, creating an electric field between them. The dielectric material prevents the charges from flowing directly between the plates, but it allows the electric field to exist. The capacitor effectively stores electrical energy in this electric field. Capacitors are widely used in electronic circuits for various purposes. They can be used to smooth out or filter voltage fluctuations, as in power supply circuits, store energy for later release, such as in flash cameras, block direct current while allowing alternating current to pass, as in coupling capacitors, and many other applications. The capacitance of a capacitor, measured in farads, F, determines its ability to store charge. Capacitors come in a wide range of capacitance values, from picofarads, PF, to farads, F, with microfarads, microfarad, and nanofarads, NF, being common values in electronic circuits. It's important to note that capacitors do not produce energy but store it temporarily. They can release the stored energy quickly when needed, but they need an external source to charge them in the first place. An inductor is a passive electronic component that stores energy in the form of a magnetic field when an electric current flows through it. It is typically constructed by winding a conducting wire into a coil or using a core material to increase the inductance. The coil's self-inductance, represented by the symbol L, determines the inductor's ability to store magnetic energy. When current flows through an inductor, a magnetic field is created around the coil. The strength of the magnetic field is proportional to the amount of current passing through the inductor. When the current changes, the magnetic field also changes and this change induces a voltage across the inductor. According to Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction, this induced voltage opposes the change in current, resulting in the inductor resisting any sudden changes in current. The main characteristics and applications of inductors include 1. Inductance Inductance is a measure of an inductor's ability to store magnetic energy. It is measured in Henry's, H, and determines the amount of voltage induced across the inductor for a given rate of change of current. 2. Filtering Inductors are often used in combination with capacitors to create filters, such as low-pass, high-pass, or band-pass filters, to allow or block certain frequencies in electronic circuits. 3. Energy storage Inductors store energy in their magnetic fields and can release this stored energy when the current through the inductor is interrupted. This property is utilized in applications such as boost converters, flyback converters, and energy storage devices. 4. Inductive loads. Inductive loads, 
such as motors and solenoids, generate a back electromotive force, EMF, when the current is interrupted or changed. Inductors can be used to mitigate the effects of this back EMF and protect other circuit components. 5. Magnetic coupling. Inductors can be used in transformers to transfer energy between different circuits through magnetic coupling. Transformers are widely used in power distribution, voltage conversion, and isolation applications. 6. Inductor cores. Inductor cores are often made from materials with high magnetic permeability, such as iron or ferrite, to enhance the inductance and improve the efficiency of the inductor. Inductors come in various forms, including air core inductors, iron core inductors, toroidal inductors, and surface mount inductors, among others. Their value is specified in terms of inductance, tolerance, and maximum current ratings, allowing designers to select the appropriate inductor for their specific circuit requirements. A diode is a two-terminal electronic component that allows electric current to flow in only one direction. It is a semiconductor device with a PN junction, which is formed by joining a P-type semiconductor material, with an excess of positive charge carriers or holes, and an N-type semiconductor material, with an excess of negative charge carriers or electrons. The PN junction in a diode allows current to flow easily in one direction, called the forward direction, while offering high resistance to current flow in the opposite direction, called the reverse direction. This behavior makes diodes useful for various applications, such as rectification, signal modulation, and switching. When a diode is forward biased, positive voltage applied to the P-type side and negative voltage applied to the N-type side, the P-N junction becomes conductive, allowing current to flow through the diode. In this state, the diode has a low resistance, typically a few tenths of a volt for silicon diodes. On the other hand, when a diode is reverse biased, positive voltage applied to the N-type side and negative voltage applied to the P-type side, the P-N junction acts as a barrier, preventing significant current flow. In this state, the diode has a high resistance and only a small leakage current, typically in the nanoampere range. Diodes have various types and variations, including 1. General Purpose Diodes these diodes are designed for common applications and are used in rectification, signal conditioning, and protection circuits. 2. Zener diodes. Zener diodes are designed to operate in the reverse breakdown region, maintaining a constant voltage drop across them when a specific reverse voltage is applied. They are commonly used for voltage regulation and voltage reference applications. 3. Schottky diodes. Schottky diodes are characterized by their fast switching speed and low forward voltage drop. They are used in high frequency applications, rectifiers, and voltage clapping circuits. 4. Light emitting diodes. LEDs are diodes that emit light when forward biased. They are used in various applications, including displays, indicators, lighting, and optoelectronic devices. 5. Photodiodes. Photodiodes are light-sensitive diodes that generate a current when exposed to light. They are used in optical communication systems, light detectors, and solar cells. Diodes play a crucial role in electronic circuits by controlling the direction of current flow, rectifying AC signals into DC, protecting components from reverse polarity, and performing various other functions based on their characteristics and configurations. A transistor is a semiconductor device that is widely used in electronic circuits as an amplifier or a switch. It is considered one of the most important inventions in the field of electronics. Transistors are key building blocks in modern electronic devices and have greatly contributed to the miniaturization and advancement of technology. The word transistor is a combination of transfer and resistor, reflecting its function as a device that transfers or amplifies electrical signals. Transistors are typically made from semiconductor materials, such as silicon or germanium, which have properties that allow them to control the flow of electric current. There are two main types of transistors. 1. Bipolar junction transistors, BJTs. BJTs have three layers of semiconductor material, the emitter, base, and collector. They come in two types, NPN, negative positive negative, and PNP, positive negative positive. The transistor operates by controlling the flow of majority charge carriers, 
electrons in NPN and holes in PNP, from the emitter to the collector through the base region. 2. Field effect transistors, FETs. FETs have three terminals, the source, gate, and drain. They come in various types, including metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistors, MOSFETs, and junction field effect transistors, FETs. FETs operate by controlling the flow of charge carriers through an electric field. MOSFETs are widely used in integrated circuits, ICs, and offer high performance and low power consumption. Transistors can be used as amplifiers, where they take a weak input signal and increase its strength or amplitude. This amplification is achieved by controlling a larger current or voltage using a smaller input signal. Transistors are also used as switches, where they can turn a current or voltage on or off based on the control signal applied to the transistor. The invention of transistors revolutionized electronics by replacing bulky and power-hungry vacuum tubes. Transistors are smaller, more reliable, and more energy efficient, making them essential for the development of modern electronics, including computers, smartphones, televisions, radios, and countless other devices. Integrated circuits, ICs, also known as microchips or chips, are miniaturized electronic circuits that are fabricated on a small semiconductor material, typically silicon. They are composed of numerous electronic components, such as transistors, resistors, capacitors, and interconnects, all integrated onto a single chip. ICs revolutionize the field of electronics by enabling the mass production of complex circuits with high reliability, reduced size, and improved performance. They are widely used in various electronic devices, ranging from consumer electronics to industrial applications. There are different types of integrated circuits. 1. Analog integrated circuits, these ICs are designed to process continuous signals, such as audio, temperature, or voltage. They are used in applications like amplifiers, filters, and power management circuits. 2. Digital integrated circuits, digital ICs are designed to process discrete signals, typically represented as binary digits, bits. They are used in digital logic circuits, microprocessors, memory chips, and digital signal processing. 3. Mixed signal integrated circuits, these ICs combine both analog and digital circuitry on a single chip. They are used in applications that require both analog and digital signal processing, such as data converters, sensors, and communication systems. Integrated circuits offer several advantages. 1. Miniaturization. By integrating numerous components onto a single chip, ICs enable the miniaturization of electronic devices, making them smaller, lighter, and more portable. 2. Increased reliability. The integration of components onto a single chip reduces the number of connections and solder joints, minimizing the risk of failure and improving the overall reliability of the circuit. 3. Improved performance. ICs can incorporate high-speed transistors, allowing for faster switching speeds and higher operating frequencies. This results in improved performance and functionality of electronic devices. 4. Lower power consumption. Integrated circuits often require lower power consumption compared to discrete circuits, leading to energy-efficient electronic systems. 5. Cost-effectiveness. Mass production techniques and economies of scale make ICs more cost-effective than discrete components. This has contributed to the widespread availability of electronic devices at affordable prices. Integrated circuits have played a crucial role in the advancement of technology and have enabled the development of various electronic systems and devices we rely on today, including computers, smartphones, televisions, automobiles, medical devices, and more. Microcontrollers and microprocessors are both types of integrated circuits, ICs, that serve as the central processing units, CPUs, in electronic systems. While they have similar functions, there are some differences between the two. Microcontrollers A microcontroller is a complete computer system on a single chip. It consists of a microprocessor core, memory, both program memory and data memory, input slash output, I.O., ports, and various peripherals, such as timers, analog to digital converters, and communication interfaces. 
Microcontrollers are designed to perform specific tasks and are commonly used in embedded systems, where they control and manage the functions of devices or systems. Key characteristics of microcontrollers include Integration Microcontrollers incorporate all essential components required for a computer system on a single chip. Low power consumption Microcontrollers are optimized for low power consumption, making them suitable for battery power devices and applications where energy efficiency is crucial. Real time processing Microcontrollers often have built in timers and interrupt handling capabilities allowing them to perform real-time tasks and respond to external events promptly. Cost-effective, due to their integration and targeted functionality, microcontrollers are generally more cost-effective than microprocessors. Applications of microcontrollers include home appliances, automotive systems, industrial automation, consumer electronics, medical devices, and more. Microprocessors, a microprocessor, on the other hand, is the central processing unit of a computer system. It primarily focuses on executing instructions and processing data. Unlike microcontrollers, microprocessors do not have built-in memory or peripherals. They rely on external memory and peripheral chips to perform specific functions. Key characteristics of microprocessors include High processing power Microprocessors are designed to handle complex calculations and execute a wide range of instructions. General purpose, microprocessors can be used for various applications and are not limited to a specific task or function. Flexibility, since microprocessors are not integrated with specific peripherals, they offer more flexibility in terms of system design and customization. Higher power consumption, microprocessors tend to consume more power compared to microcontrollers as they require external memory and peripheral chips. Microprocessors are commonly used in personal computers, servers, laptops, smartphones, and other computing devices where flexibility and high processing power are required. In summary, microcontrollers and microprocessors are both ICs that serve as CPUs. Microcontrollers are highly integrated systems designed for specific tasks in embedded systems while microprocessors offer more flexibility and power for general-purpose computing applications. A sensor is a device or component that detects and responds to physical inputs or changes in the environment and converts them into measurable signals. It plays a crucial role in collecting data and providing valuable information for various applications, ranging from scientific research to everyday consumer products. Sensors can be found in numerous fields, including industrial automation, robotics, automotive systems, healthcare, environmental monitoring, and more. They are designed to capture different types of physical phenomena such as temperature, pressure, light, motion, proximity, humidity, sound, and many others. The basic principle behind a sensor's operation involves the interaction between the physical input and the sensor's internal mechanism. This interaction generates an electrical, optical, or mechanical output signal that can be further processed or transmitted for analysis or control purposes. There are various types of sensors available, each designed to detect specific inputs. Here are a few common examples. Temperature sensor measures changes in temperature and is often used for monitoring and controlling heating or cooling systems. Pressure sensor detects changes in pressure and is utilized in applications like tire pressure monitoring systems, industrial process control, and weather forecasting. 3. Light sensor detects the presence or absence of light and is used in automatic lighting systems, photography, and optical devices. Motion sensor detects movement or changes in position and is commonly found in security systems, automatic doors, and gaming devices. Proximity sensor detects the presence or absence of an object within a certain range and is utilized in touchless switches, robotics, and object detection systems. Humidity sensor measures the level of moisture in the air and is used in weather monitoring, HVAC systems, and agricultural applications. 
Sensors have become increasingly advanced over time with the advent of technologies such as microelectromechanical systems, MIMS, which have allowed for miniaturization and integration of sensors into smaller devices. Additionally, sensors can be connected to networks, enabling the collection and analysis of data in real time, leading to the development of the Internet of Things, IoT, and its applications. In summary, sensors are vital components that enable the detection and measurement of physical phenomena, providing valuable information for a wide range of applications across multiple industries. Their ability to convert physical inputs into measurable signals contributes to advancements in technology, automation, and our understanding of the world around us. Switches are devices commonly used in electrical and electronic circuits to control the flow of current. They are designed to interrupt or redirect the flow of electricity, enabling the user to turn a circuit on or off or to select different pathways for the current to follow. Switches can be found in various applications, from simple household light switches to complex industrial control systems. Here are some key aspects and types of switches. 1. Mechanical switches. These switches use physical mechanisms, such as levers, buttons, or toggles, to change the state of the switch. They are commonly used in everyday applications like light switches, doorbells, or push-button devices. 2. Electronic switches. Electronic switches operate electronically without any moving parts. They use semiconductors to control the flow of current. Transistors, such as MOSFETs, metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistors, are commonly used as electronic switches in various electronic circuits. 3. Toggle switches. Toggle switches have a lever or a rocker that can be flipped up or down to change the switch's state. They have two stable positions, usually on and off, and they remain in the selected position until flipped again. 4. Rotary switches. Rotary switches have a rotating mechanism that allows the user to select from multiple positions. They often have a knob or dial and are used to switch between different settings or modes, such as volume control on audio devices or selecting different inputs on electronic equipment. 5. Push-button switches. Push-button switches are momentary switches that activate when pressed and deactivate when released. They are commonly used in applications like doorbells, keyboards, or as input buttons on electronic devices. 6. Rocker switches. Rocker switches are similar to toggle switches but feature a rocking mechanism instead of a lever. They have two or more positions, and the switch toggles between these positions by pressing one side or the other. 7. Slide switches. Slide switches have a slider that moves between two or more fixed positions. They are often used to enable or disable certain functions or to select different options. 8. Dip switches. Dual inline package. Dip switches are small, manually operated switches mounted on a circuit board. They are often used to configure or set parameters in electronic devices, such as setting the address of a device in a computer network. 9. Reed switches. Reed switches consist of two ferromagnetic blades encased in a glass tube. When a magnetic field is present, the blades are drawn together, completing the circuit. Reed switches are commonly used in applications like magnetic door sensors or in proximity switches. 10. Proximity switches. Proximity switches are sensors that detect the presence or absence of an object without physical contact. They use different technologies, including capacitive, inductive, or optical, to sense the target object's presence and trigger the switch accordingly. Switches can also be classified based on their electrical specifications, such as current rating, voltage rating, or switching capacity. It's important to choose the appropriate switch for a specific application to ensure it can handle the required electrical parameters. In summary, switches are versatile devices used to control the flow of electricity in a circuit. They come in various types and designs, each suitable for different applications, from simple on-off control to complex switching operations in electronic systems. A relay is an electrical device that is used to control the flow of electricity in a circuit. 
It is a switch that is operated by an electromagnet, allowing it to open or close contacts in response to an electrical signal. Relays are widely used in various applications to control high voltage or high current circuits using low voltage or low current signals. Here are some key aspects of relays. 1. Construction. A typical relay consists of a coil, a set of stationary contacts, and a movable armature. The coil is usually made of a copper wire wound around a core, creating an electromagnetic field when a current passes through it. The contacts are metallic plates that can either be normally open, in O, or normally closed, in C, depending on the relay's design. 2. Working principle. When an electrical current flows through the coil, it generates a magnetic field that attracts the movable armature. The armature is mechanically linked to the contacts, so when it moves, the contacts also move. In a normally open, NO, relay, the contacts are open when the coil is not energized. When the coil is energized, the armature moves, and the contacts close, completing the circuit. In a normally closed, NC, relay, the contacts are closed in the unenergized state and open when the coil is energized. 3. Types of relays. Relays come in various types, each designed for specific applications. Some common types include Electromechanical relays. These are the most basic type of relays, using mechanical movement to open or close contacts. Solid-state relays. SSRs. SSRs use semiconductor devices like transistors or thyristors to perform the switching operation. They offer faster response times and higher reliability than electromechanical relays. Read relays. Read relays use magnetic fields to control read switches, which are thin, magnetically sensitive metal strips that act as contacts. Time delay relays. These relays introduce a time delay before opening or closing the contacts, often used in applications requiring a specific time delay. Latching relays. Latching relays maintain their state even after the coil is de-energized. They require a separate pulse to change the state. For applications, relays find applications in various industries and systems, including Power systems. Relays are used for protection, control, and automation in power generation, transmission, and distribution systems. Automotive. Relays are used in automotive electronics for functions such as starting motors, controlling lights, and operating power windows. Industrial automation. Relays are used for controlling motors, solenoids, valves, and other devices in industrial automation processes. Telecommunications. Relays play a crucial role in telecommunications systems for signal routing, switching, and circuit protection. Home automation. Relays are used to control lighting, HVAC systems, and appliances in home automation setups. 5. Advantages and Limitations. Relays offer several advantages, including Electrical isolation. Relays provide electrical isolation between the control circuit and the controlled circuit, ensuring safety and preventing interference. High voltage and current handling. Relays can handle high voltage and current levels, making them suitable for controlling powerful equipment. Versatility. Relays can be easily integrated into different circuit designs and can switch various types of loads. However, relays also have some limitations, including Mechanical wear. Electromechanical relays have moving parts that can wear out over time, reducing their lifespan. Slow switching speed. Compared to solid-state devices, relays have relatively slow switching speeds due to mechanical movement. Size and cost. Relays can be larger and more expensive than solid-state alternatives, especially for high-current applications. Relays are an essential component in many electrical and electronic systems, offering reliable and efficient control over electrical circuits. Their versatility and ability to handle high voltages and currents make them widely used across various industries. A fuse is a safety device used in electrical systems to protect against overcurrents. It is designed to break the circuit and interrupt the flow of electrical current in the event of an overload or a short circuit, thereby preventing damage to the electrical equipment or the risk of fire. 
Here are some key points about fuses. 1. Function. The primary function of a fuse is to protect electrical circuits and equipment from excessive current. When the current passing through the fuse exceeds its rated value, the fuse element inside the fuse melts and breaks the circuit. 2. Construction. A typical fuse consists of a fuse element made of a metal or alloy with a low melting point, such as copper, silver, or aluminum. The fuse element is enclosed within a non-conductive housing made of glass, ceramic, or plastic. The housing may also contain filler materials like sand to extinguish any arc that forms when the fuse blows. 3. Types of fuses. There are various types of fuses available, including Cartridge fuses. These fuses have a cylindrical shape and are available in different sizes and current ratings. They are commonly used in residential, commercial, and industrial applications. Blade fuses, also known as automotive fuses, blade fuses are widely used in automobiles and have a plastic housing with metal blades for easy installation. Resettable fuses, also called PTC, positive temperature coefficient, fuses or polymeric positive temperature coefficient, PPTC, devices, these fuses can automatically reset after a fault condition has been removed. 4. Fuse Ratings Fuses are rated based on their current carrying capacity and voltage rating. The current rating specifies the maximum current that the fuse can safely carry before it blows. The voltage rating indicates the maximum voltage at which the fuse can safely operate. 5. Fuse Selection Proper selection of fuses is crucial to ensure adequate protection for electrical circuits and equipment. Factors such as the expected current levels, type of circuit, and environmental conditions should be considered when choosing a fuse. 6. Blown Fuse Indication When a fuse blows, it needs to be replaced to restore the circuit's functionality. Some fuses have a transparent window that allows visual inspection to determine if the fuse element is intact or blown. In other cases, additional indicators or circuitry may be used to indicate a blown fuse. 7. Circuit Breakers versus Fuses While both circuit breakers and fuses provide protection against overcurrents, they function differently. Circuit breakers use an electromechanical mechanism to trip and interrupt the current flow, while fuses rely on a fuse element that melts. Circuit breakers can be reset manually, whereas fuses need to be replaced after they blow. It's important to note that working with electrical systems and fuses can be dangerous and should be done by trained professionals. If you have specific questions or concerns about fuses or electrical safety, it is recommended to consult with an electrician or an expert in the field. A circuit breaker is an electrical switching device that automatically interrupts the flow of current in a circuit to protect the electrical system from damage caused by overcurrents, short circuits, or electrical faults. It is an essential component of electrical distribution systems, providing both safety and convenience. Here are some key points about circuit breakers. 1. Function. The primary function of a circuit breaker is to protect electrical circuits and equipment from excessive current. When a fault occurs, such as an overload or short circuit, the circuit breaker detects the abnormal current flow and quickly interrupts it to prevent damage to the circuit or connected devices. 2. Types of circuit breakers. There are several types of circuit breakers, including Thermal circuit breakers. These types of circuit breakers use a bimetallic strip or a thermal element that bends or deforms when exposed to excessive heat caused by an overload. This deformation triggers the tripping mechanism, opening the circuit. Magnetic circuit breakers. Magnetic circuit breakers operate based on the principle of electromagnetic induction. They have a solenoid coil that creates a magnetic field. When a short circuit occurs, the excessive current generates a strong magnetic field, which activates the tripping mechanism and opens the circuit. Hybrid circuit breakers. Hybrid circuit breakers combine both thermal and magnetic elements to provide protection against a wide range of overcurrent conditions. Electronic circuit breakers. Electronic circuit breakers use solid state components, such as transistors and sensors, to detect and interrupt abnormal currents. 
They offer precise and adjustable protection settings and are commonly used in electronic systems. 3. Tripping Mechanism When a circuit breaker detects an overcurrent or fault, it activates a tripping mechanism to open the contacts and interrupt the current flow. The tripping mechanism can be mechanical, electromechanical, or electronic, depending on the type of circuit breaker. 4. Ratings Circuit breakers are rated based on their maximum current carrying capacity, known as the current rating. This rating determines the amount of current the circuit breaker can handle without tripping. Circuit breakers also have voltage ratings, indicating the maximum voltage they can safely interrupt. 5. Circuit breaker panels Circuit breakers are commonly installed in distribution panels or breaker boxes. These panels contain multiple circuit breakers that protect individual circuits or groups of circuits in a building or electrical system. The panels provide a convenient way to control and protect the various electrical circuits. 6. Testing and Maintenance Circuit breakers should be periodically tested and maintained to ensure their proper functioning. Regular inspections, cleaning, and testing of the tripping mechanism are important to identify any defects or malfunctions. 7. Resetting After a circuit breaker trips, it needs to be manually or automatically reset to restore power to the circuit. Some circuit breakers have a simple manual reset switch, while others may require troubleshooting and fixing the underlying issue before resetting. Circuit breakers play a crucial role in safeguarding electrical systems and preventing hazards such as fires, electrical shocks, and equipment damage. They are an integral part of residential, commercial, and industrial electrical installations. A battery is a device that converts stored chemical energy into electrical energy. It consists of one or more electrochemical cells, also known as galvanic cells, connected in series or parallel. Batteries are commonly used to power a wide range of devices, from small electronics like smartphones and laptops to larger systems like electric vehicles and backup power supplies. Here are some key points about batteries. One. Composition, batteries are typically composed of one or more electrochemical cells. Each cell consists of two electrodes, a cathode, positive terminal, and an anode, negative terminal, immersed in an electrolyte solution. The electrodes are usually made of different materials, and the electrolyte facilitates the movement of ions between them. 2. Electrochemical reactions. When a battery is connected to a circuit, electrochemical reactions occur at the electrodes. The anode undergoes oxidation, releasing electrons into the external circuit, while the cathode undergoes reduction, accepting electrons from the circuit. The movement of electrons through the circuit generates an electric current. 3. Types of batteries. There are various types of batteries, each with different chemistries and characteristics. Some common types include Alkaline batteries. These are disposable batteries commonly used in household devices. They use an alkaline electrolyte and have a long shelf life. B. Lithium ion batteries. These rechargeable batteries are widely used in portable electronics, electric vehicles, and renewable energy systems. They offer high energy density, low self discharge rates, and a long cycle life. Lead acid batteries, these are widely used in automotive applications and for backup power. They are heavy, but they provide high surge currents and are relatively low cost. Nickel cadmium batteries, although less common today due to environmental concerns, NICD batteries are rechargeable and can provide high discharge currents. They were widely used in portable electronics and power tools. Nickel metal hydride batteries. These rechargeable batteries are often used as a replacement for NICD batteries. They offer higher energy density and are considered more environmentally friendly. 4. Capacity. Battery capacity refers to the amount of electrical energy a battery can store. It is typically measured in ampere hours, ah, or milliampere hours, ma. A higher capacity indicates that the battery can provide power for a longer duration. 
5. Voltage. Batteries have a specific voltage rating, which is the potential difference between the positive and negative terminals. Common voltage ratings include 1.5 volts, example AA or AAA batteries, 3.7 volts, typical for lithium-ion batteries, and 12 volts, lead-acid automotive batteries. 6. Charging and discharging. Batteries can be recharged by applying an external electrical current that reverses the electrochemical reactions. During discharge, the stored chemical energy is converted into electrical energy. It's important to follow the manufacturer's instructions for proper charging and discharging procedures to maintain battery health and safety. 7. Battery Management Systems BMS Some advanced batteries, such as those used in electric vehicles, incorporate battery management systems. BMS monitors the battery's state of charge, temperature, and voltage levels to optimize performance, prevent overcharging or overdischarging, and ensure safe operation. 8. Recycling. Batteries contain various chemicals, including heavy metals, that can be harmful to the environment if not disposed of properly. Recycling programs exist to safely extract valuable materials and minimize the environmental impact of battery disposal. It's worth noting that battery technology continues to evolve rapidly, with ongoing research and development efforts focused on improving energy density, cycle life, safety, and sustainability. A generator is a device that converts mechanical energy into electrical energy. It is also known as an electric generator or dynamo. Generators are used in various applications, ranging from power plants that generate electricity on a large scale to portable generators used for backup power supply. Here are some key aspects of generators in electrical engineering. Principle of Operation Generators work based on the principle of electromagnetic induction, which was discovered by Michael Faraday in the early 19th century. According to this principle, when a conductor, such as a wire, moves through a magnetic field or when a magnetic field changes around a stationary conductor, an electromotive force, EMF, is induced in the conductor. This induced EMF causes the current to flow if the circuit is closed, thus generating electrical energy. Types of Generators Generators can be classified into different types based on their construction, application, and power generation capacity. Some common types include 1. Alternating Current AC, generators. These generators produce alternating current, which periodically changes direction. AC generators are commonly used in power plants and residential applications. 2. Direct Current DC generators. These generators produce direct current, which flows in only one direction. DC generators are used in various applications, including battery charging systems and portable devices. 3. Synchronous generators. These generators operate at a constant speed and produce AC power that is synchronized with the grid frequency. They are commonly used in large power plants. 4. Asynchronous generators. Induction generators. These generators do not require a separate power source to establish a magnetic field. They are often used in wind turbines and other renewable energy systems. 5. Diesel generators. These generators use a diesel engine to drive an alternator and produce electrical power. They are commonly used in remote locations and as backup power supplies. Components of a generator. A generator typically consists of the following components. 1. Rotor. The rotor is the rotating part of the generator that contains a magnetic field. It can be either a permanent magnet or an electromagnet. 2. Stator. The stator is the stationary part of the generator. It consists of a set of windings or coils that are connected to the external circuit. 3. Exciter. The exciter is a small generator within the main generator that provides the initial current to the rotor to establish the magnetic field. 4. Prime Mover The prime mover is the mechanical device, example, a steam turbine, gas turbine, or diesel engine that provides the mechanical energy required to rotate the generator's rotor. 5. Voltage Regulator 
The voltage regulator controls the output voltage of the generator and ensures that it remains within the desired range. 6. Cooling system. Generators generate heat during operation, so they typically have a cooling system, such as air or liquid cooling, to maintain the temperature within acceptable limits. Applications of generators. Generators have numerous applications in various sectors, including 1. Power generation. Generators play a crucial role in power plants, where they convert mechanical energy from sources such as steam, water, or wind into electrical energy for distribution to homes, industries, and commercial establishments. 2. Backup power supply. Generators are used as backup power sources during power outages or in locations where access to the electricity grid is limited. 3. Construction and mining. Portable generators are commonly used in construction and mining sites to provide electrical power for tools, lighting, and equipment. 4. Telecommunications. Generators are used to provide power backup for telecommunication towers and network infrastructure to ensure uninterrupted communication services. 5. Emergency services. Generators are essential for emergency services such as hospitals, fire stations, and police stations, where a continuous power supply is critical for life-saving equipment and operations. 6. Recreational and residential use. Portable generators are popular for recreational activities like camping, boating, and outdoor events, as well as for residential backup power. It's important to note that generators are not 100% efficient as they incur losses due to factors such as resistance in the windings, friction, and heat dissipation. However, they remain an integral part of our modern electrical infrastructure, providing reliable power generation in various applications. A motor is a device that converts electrical or mechanical energy into mechanical motion. It is commonly used in various applications, including industrial machinery, appliances, vehicles, and robotics. Motors play a crucial role in powering many aspects of modern life. Here are some key points about motors. 1. Types of motors. There are several types of motors, including AC motors, alternating current, AC, motors are widely used and include induction motors, synchronous motors, and brushed and brushless AC motors. DC motors, direct current, DC, motors are commonly found in battery-operated devices and include brushed and brushless DC motors. Stepper motors, stepper motors are used in applications that require precise positioning and control. They move in discrete steps or increments. Servo motors. Servo motors are often used in robotics and automation. They provide precise control over position, speed, and torque. 2. Working principle. Most motors operate based on the principle of electromagnetic induction. When an electric current passes through a wire in the presence of a magnetic field, it creates a force that generates rotational or linear motion. 3. Components of a motor. A motor consists of various components, depending on its type. The common components include Stator. The stator is the stationary part of the motor that contains the coils or windings. These windings produce the magnetic field necessary for motor operation. Rotor. The rotor is the moving part of the motor. It interacts with the magnetic field produced by the stator and converts electrical energy into mechanical energy. Commutator. DC motors have a commutator, which is a rotating switch that reverses the direction of current in the rotor windings, allowing for continuous rotation. Brushes. In brushed motors, brushed motors have brushes that make physical contact with the commutator to supply electrical current to the rotor windings. Control system. Motors often require control systems to regulate their speed, direction, and torque. These systems may include electronic controllers, sensors, and feedback mechanisms. Motor performance metrics. When evaluating motors, certain performance metrics are important. Power. The power of a motor represents its ability to perform work. It is usually measured in watts, W, or horsepower, HP. 
The rotational speed of a motor is measured in revolutions per minute, RPM, and indicates how quickly the motor shaft rotates. Torque. Torque is the rotational force produced by a motor and is typically measured in newton meters, nm, or pound feet, lbft. Efficiency. Motor efficiency refers to the ratio of output power to input power, indicating how effectively the motor converts electrical energy into mechanical energy. Duty cycle. The duty cycle represents the ratio of the motor's operating time to its total cycle time. It is often expressed as a percentage. Motor applications. Motors are utilized in countless applications, including Industrial machinery. Motors power various industrial equipment such as pumps, compressors, conveyors, and machine tools. Appliances. Motors are found in household appliances like refrigerators, washing machines, fans, and air conditioners. Automotive. Motors are crucial in vehicles, powering functions like propulsion, windshield wipers, power windows, and seat adjustments. Robotics. Motors drive the movement and control of robotic systems used in manufacturing, exploration, and other industries. Aerospace and aviation. Motors are employed in aircraft systems for tasks like controlling flaps, actuating landing gear, and operating pumps. This is a general overview of motors. The specific details, designs, and applications can vary depending on the motor type and its intended purpose. A transformer, in the context of electronic devices, is an electrical component that is widely used in power distribution and voltage regulation. It is an electromagnetic device that consists of two or more coils of wire, known as windings, which are placed around a common magnetic core. The primary purpose of a transformer is to transfer electrical energy from one circuit to another through electromagnetic induction, while maintaining the frequency of the input signal. Here are some key points about transformers as electronic devices. 1. Principle of Operation Transformers operate based on the principle of electromagnetic induction. When an alternating current, AC, passes through the primary winding, it generates a magnetic field in the core. This magnetic field induces a voltage in the secondary winding, which is proportional to the number of turns in the windings. 2. Primary and Secondary Windings Transformers have two sets of windings, the primary winding and the secondary winding. The primary winding receives the input voltage, while the secondary winding delivers the output voltage. The ratio of the number of turns in the primary winding to the number of turns in the secondary winding determines the voltage transformation ratio. 3. Step up and step down transformers. Transformers can either step up the voltage, increasing the voltage level from the input to the output, or step it down, decreasing the voltage level. A step-up transformer has more turns in the secondary winding than in the primary winding, resulting in an increased output voltage. Conversely, a step-down transformer has fewer turns in the secondary winding, leading to a decreased output voltage. 4. Voltage and Power Ratings Transformers are rated based on their voltage and power handling capabilities. The voltage rating indicates the maximum voltage that can be applied to the transformer winding safely. The power rating specifies the maximum power that the transformer can transfer without exceeding its thermal limits. 5. Efficiency and Losses While transformers are highly efficient devices, they still experience some losses during operation. The losses include copper losses due to resistance in the windings and core losses caused by magnetic hysteresis and eddy currents. These losses result in a slight reduction in the efficiency of the transformer. 6. Types of Transformers Transformers come in various types, including distribution transformers, power transformers, auto transformers, isolation transformers, and instrument transformers. Each type serves specific purposes, such as stepping down high-voltage transmission lines to lower voltages for local distribution or providing isolation and voltage transformation for sensitive electronic equipment. 7. Applications 
Transformers are crucial components in power distribution systems, allowing efficient transmission of electricity from power plants to homes, businesses, and industries. They are also used in various electronic devices, such as power supplies, audio amplifiers, and electronic appliances, where voltage conversion or isolation is required. 8. Transformers and switching power supplies. In modern electronic devices, transformers are often incorporated into switching power supplies. These power supplies use high-frequency switching techniques to convert AC power to DC power more efficiently. Transformers and switching power supplies are typically smaller and lighter than traditional transformers due to higher operating frequencies. Overall, transformers are essential electronic devices that enable the efficient transfer of electrical energy between different voltage levels. They play a vital role in power distribution systems and are widely used in numerous electronic devices for voltage transformation and isolation purposes.